Dye, the bass playing mom, and today I made a trip to the music store. I have three short scale basses and I have one full scale acoustic. And I had been showing you this bass, actually, this one here, this black bass, ah, which is a uh, Music Man from 78 or 79. And then this is my Mustang that is a reissue of the 64 Mustang that got like around 2000. And I have another newer bass, uh, 2017, that's not on camera because it's already packed up. I'm playing it this weekend. So I have the three short scale basses and you guys had told me that there were some Squire basses that were like it. And so I went to the music store to check them out. Well, here I am around the music store and I thought it would be a good time to look at what basses they have in. And there were three short scale Squire basses and then a bunch of other basses that I could look at. I love the color of that one. Isn't that color great? And that whole section of bases too. Oh yeah, I was wearing my big fluffy pink coat because it was cold outside. I, I don't wear that on work days. It was a Saturday. Alright, so this is a red Mustang, it's $150. I was checking it out. The back is not glossy, which is really nice for sliding your thumb up and down. I thought that was an advantage. And of course, you know, it's got a fender tag on it because they make Squire. And so and then I decided to try to play it. Brand new string, so they sounded terrible. And then the, the fretboard is like maple or whatever, that white, which isn't my favorite. I like rosewood better. And then I noticed when I was moving my hands, like my hands started getting sore. Oh yeah, real cheap. Everything's really cheap bottom of the line, like you could have it. Well, it's $150, so it's just a step up from the base you get your kid at Sears. But, I mean, it is just a step up. The frets, I noticed, were super duper sharp. And then it had that bridge that my black bass has, the one I can't stand, where it's got two strings on each saddle. Like, no good, no bueno. So, the thing that I noticed, too, was that um, the frets were like super sharp on my fingers, like they hadn't been deburred. So that was like a bummer. Oh, and this one's a Jaguar bass, which I thought maybe was gonna be more equivalent. Actually, I think of my PJ Mustang, it might be more like it, because it's got both sets of pickups. And it was made in Indonesia too. All these bases were made in Indonesia. So it's got the good pickups on it. It has a rosewood fretboard, which I like better, and the black body, but the frets are so sharp, they literally hurt my fingers when I was trying to slide them, like nothing had been deburred. I don't know what seven-year-old they have working in the factory or something, but that Jaguar, I think it was 250? It was 150 for the, for the Bronco. And then I spotted this one, this uh, more like candy apple red or whatever you want to call it. This metallic red. And it's a Jaguar as two and the frets felt much better. But it was a 2017 and the other two bases were 2018. So some quality control got lost there somewhere and they started making them so they were more difficult to play. I don't know, but I like that one way better. The fretboard was better. Uh, I like the pickups on it. Like, I really like that bass a lot better, much better. And then I found this jazz bass. Okay, oh my gosh. I had to have this jazz bass. I had to play it. It's full scale. It's used. It's a reissue. Of, but, and it's 600 bucks. So, I think it was 600. Maybe it was 400. Let me look. Yeah, 600 bucks. 
but I had to play it. And even though I don't usually like the light colored fretboard, it was a beautiful base. Look, it's got all the traditional covers on everything. Big Fender F. Oh, just beautiful. Look at the back. It's shiny. It's got the inlay. Look at the beautiful keys on it compared to the Squires. And yeah, made in Mexico, I think. Yeah, it was a Mexican base, but it was so oh, nice. Yeah, Pre-owned, it was used. It was 600 bucks though. I like that base. That's the one I would take home. There wasn't a short scale there that I was in love with, but that, that was a good looking base. So what do you think? Do you have any comments about short scale bases? What do you think? Are there good ones? Are the Squires really worth it? I think I'm liking my fenders, but of course they cost quite a bit more. Is it good for an entry level base? How much work do you have to do to them to get them to be playable? Anyway, I'd love to hear about that in the comments. And here is another video that I made about my bases. In fact, there's a playlist of videos about my bases.